I can look at you now. Yeah. yeah. All right, mic check, mic check. One master podcast, one thing, of course. Got a special guest in the building. I got Brad. How you doing, man? Peace, brother. Peace, peace, peace. How you been? Hey, man. My home away from home. I'm good. <laughs> I'm great. How's the how's the the, the spoke? I can say spoke word. But I would say how's the art scene? I won't, oh. I won't talk you up to a spoken word. The art. There you art. go. How's I, I appreciate that. Treatment? You know what the the art scene, like many things. It'll treat you how you treat it. Mm, that's deep. Yeah. That's, that's art. That's, that's right. Art. It, anywhere but deep. Art. You know, it, it's, too, it's a two-way street. It goes both ways. You know, same with perf- on-stage performances, you know. Um, for me as an artist, I'm not giving my best performance unless the audience is giving me their best back in mm. return. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, I want to talk for a minute. I, I know you guys did a piece of things. That's me, Mike, number one. Um, I'm not sure. But you, 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 a go in the art, art, art world here. Um, how do you feel about that? Like, I like to do that. I'm, my goal is to try to get more people to come on and kind of just say a piece. I think I can be a best piece or whatever, but just something to put out. Mm-hmm. Something to put out. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. I think it's a great idea. Um, you know, for, for one, because for most poets and most spoken word artists, it's all about our words. It's all about our voices right, being right. heard and how many ears can we touch. So if I can leave a, a poem on every podcast platform, that's just more ears that's going to hear what I have to say. It's not about me. It's not about fame. It's not about fortune. It's about this gift that God blessed me with and been able to share those words with people. What's your thoughts on this, on this phrase here? The phrase that uh, art imitates life. How do you feel about that phrase? That, that's an age-old debate, right? It can go on and on and on and on. And I don't think there's a right or a wrong. Um, art imitates life, and life does imitate art. It's like which came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, I think both cases are true. Uh, for the creative, we will say this. And think about it. For the original creative, that's a chance when... Art imitated life, right? Right. Where this, this say, say you got a painter, you know, he's got a blank, a blank canvas, and then he sees what's going on and he paints it, even if it's in his mind's eye, right? Uh, so that's art imitating life. But then say this guy makes this painting, and now this painting is, you know, the style that he used or whatever. It, 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 it catches on and it becomes viral, whatever the painting is. So now you see this all over and over again. So now you got life imitating art. So people, you know, that's why I say it goes both ways because somebody puts it out there and Makes then sense. you got a bunch of Makes followers sense. Makes sense. that are just going to follow. And it yeah. go, also yeah. goes for your actions as well, right? So people, somebody originally said, you know, <laughs> let's do this and then people do it. So I guess in a sense, I know you can have an art where it imitates life because you're, you're probably pulling from life. Right. And then I think art can give life if that's, uh, if that makes sense. You know, art, like art can give life. we make an art and now from this art, well, it's, 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 exact, something yeah. is, and something in life is through, going on now due through, to that art. Through, through uh, hip hop, right? It's an art form. A whole culture was birthed. Yeah. That we're living now, right? 50 years later, that we're living now. True. A whole culture. Not just an art form. I like the way you put that. But a whole culture. I like the way you put that. I like the way you put that. So I asked that question, too, just just because of the piece that, you know, we put out. Um, what, what, the title of that piece, Numb. Numb. Let's start with the title. Numb. Uh, I would ask you what it means, but I'm, I'm kind of smart a little bit, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like you. But what does it mean to you? <laughs> Let me ask you this. This is how you ask a question when you want to ask, what does it mean to you? Right, right, that, right. that changes everything. So what, mm-hmm. mean, what does it mean to try? What does it mean to you? Um, it connects to one word that I called out in the poem, which is desensitization. Mm. Desensitization. Uh, it's what happens after something happens so repeatedly, no matter how severe it is, you tend to not react to it. Damn. And that's a dangerous place to be, right? 
So as long as we're being triggered by whatever it is, we're kind of at a safe place because that's what they, you know, the, we'll say the orchestrators, they, they want us to react. But now after so many times seeing this again and again and again, think about it, like horror pictures, children watching horror pictures, or, you know, we turn to the ID channel all day long and see scenes of bloody murder and stuff like that. We don't even stop conversation. We just keep, you know, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> we're yeah. totally des- desensitized to it, knowing that we just saw a real dead body on the ground on TV, mm. like right there. And, you know, we didn't kind of get phased by it. So that's numb. And that goes to the, you know, the rest of the words in the hook. It's like numb. That's how I feel right now because stuff is getting ill right now. These streets are killing fields right now. Kill image, kill image, kill right now. Mm. So it's about the kill and then putting the image out there and the kill and then the image and the kill and the image and that repeated thing is what brings about the desensitization which makes us dumb. Another dumb question, but I'm a little smart. Pulling, pulling from, we have you pull from to get this piece, to get the emotions, the words, the, the architecture, how you're going to, you know, uh, piece, this, piece this painting together. Yeah. Um, tell me about that time for you and how you felt about all that was going on during that time when you made this uh, piece. Right. Um, and, during, and, and you know what? There's been so many of these instances of uh, our people being uh, gummed down by the cops and police and then videos being put out there. I can't even remember which instance sparked the, the poem. Um, That's deep. Right. That's deep. That is deep. That's you can't even remember what, which one it was. I can't even remember which one it was. Um, you know how sometimes they be like, well... Uh, all black people look alike because they see a, a crowd of black people. It's like all these all these people look alike. I don't know who it was. And the I don't know who it was. Kind of, you know, doing nothing. Then deserve to die. Die. Was it the guy who got choked? Was it the guy who got shot? Was it the guy who got his knee on his neck? Was it the guy who got you know you know what I'm saying? Like even when you say it like that, that's even kind of wild. The thing about it, it's all these different scenarios. Not all everybody didn't get shot. You know, well, they all didn't get shot. They all just died. That's crazy when you think right. about it. When you actually say it that way, where you just said it, it is definitely, it is definitely telling mm-hmm. that still can't figure out which one it was. I don't know which murder it was. It's all part of the desensitization process, right? It's all part of that. And let me tell you, um, consciousness, I'll, I'll just use the word consciousness, what they call wokeness or even pro-blackness, right? It goes through stages. Um, So in my lifetime, I've been through the thirsty for knowledge era. You know, I'm still there. Uh, But I didn't. Then I also ended up at the angry era, which a lot of us can end up there. Right. Because this stuff pisses you off. You see it and you're pissed off Um, and you're angry. And but what are you doing with it? Like, you know, how do you channel that anger? How do you make something constructive out of it? Uh, eventually, I grew to the point where um, I wasn't reacting in that such uh, emotional, angry way because it's kind of unproductive. I have to interject there for a second. Is it is it unproductive? Is that how you actually see it? Or are you, you think now, somehow, some way desensitized to what's going on? Both. Um, you know, I, the anger has gone away. I, a lot of the emotion for me has gone away from things that I see from out, what, what, what we will say is outside stimuli. I asked that question because I wonder now, like if it was today, if you had to, somebody called you out, hey, look, man, I need you to tap into whatever you got to tap into. I need a numb part too. I wonder what that looks like for you today. Oh, yeah. It, it may be totally different. Um, after I wrote Numb, later is when I wrote I'm Running. And I'm Running was one of those pieces where I'm talking to myself going, you know what? I can't stay in this space. I can't stay in this space where I'm being triggered and, 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 and emotionally upset by all of this outside stimuli. Right. Um, it almost killed me. Stress. You know? And we hold this stuff in. 
and they know this. This is part of a plan. Do you think that the media might be connected? I don't know. We should get into too much conspiracy <laughs> talk. I ain't gonna conspiracy say I, I ain't talk. Gonna hold you. I ain't gonna but hold you. you. You know, it, I it's, believe it's in stuff all, like that. Though. I do believe in stuff connected. like that. It's all connected. It's all connected um, to the healthcare. You know, health. The government has their hands in healthcare. So just kind of think about all these dots that can be connected. So it's, people say dots connected and stuff like that. You know how I think about it, like, and I'm not, I ain't going to go deep into it like you said, but I think of checks and balances, and I think they have that for other things as well. And I think when you think of checks and balances and what I'm referring to is this type of behavior, these type of uh, outrage things that are happening, media, people in charge, I think all that is checks and balances too, you know? Like we can make them angry. But let's continue to do it so that they won't be angry all the time. Right. Because right, it's going to keep happening. Right. As many imperfections as we see in this world, for somebody, this is their utopia. Yeah. As yeah. many imperfections that you and I can sit here and call out every day, um, for somebody, this is their utopia, meaning this is exactly how it's designed. You're right. Yeah. I wanted to ask you this, too. Um, we had another, not we, but another video has surfaced of another black man uh, gunned down uh, by the hands of law enforcement as well. And me and you both talked about it off air how we haven't even seen the footage. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it's purposely for you. I didn't purposely like go around it, so per se, but I also didn't go find it like I would have in the past. Right. I heard about it and I said to myself, I've seen that movie already. Uh-huh. You ever don't go see a movie because you feel like, I know this movie already. I, I've seen it five times. I know how it's going to end. I know how it's going to end. I know the middle. I know the beginning. And I know they're going to sprinkle this and that to make me, I'm not interested. Mm-hmm. And it sucks because you have to kind of move that way for, like you said, productivity in right. your own life. Right. In my own life. Right. To, um, to protect my own peace. Because that's what's mo- most important. If I'm not here, I can't be of assistance to anybody. It right. doesn't matter, right. you know, what kind of causes I try to, uh, <laughs> you know, take a part in or anything. None of that's going to happen if I'm not here. So we have to protect our our mental health, our physical health, and yeah, that so, still plays a part. I, and I know we can get out in a second, but like I just want to not challenge you, but I guess challenge. I don't know. But like if I do think that if you were to tap into another piece of a numb part two or something like that, I wonder if this time you would actually be numb. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense, right? I, I was numb when I wrote that piece. It and seems that, so I vivid. A, I was at a place. Maybe I was a little bit beyond. I, the, my numbness was frightening to me when I wrote that piece. And because it, I wasn't feeling anything. And I, 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 I saw. I, I mean, when I, when I hear it, and everybody, it's all perspective. When I hear it, I, I, I hear a person who wants to be numb mm. rather than maybe being numb. I just feel so much pain in, inside of that, that piece. And when they watch it back, I'm pretty sure they'll see what I'm talking about. But right. even watching you do it, it's like, oh, I had to kind of like not, not, not listen for a little bit. So right. I can, you know, get emotional. <laughs> yeah, because get emotional. we all grown now. So mm-hmm. it can be anybody. It can be us. It can be your friend. It can be somebody you be mentoring. It can be somebody you know, your younger brother, your son, whatever, you know, that. That can be anybody. Right. And then also those feelings that you're talking about could be anybody. Right. And then it's like, what has the world come to when that's somebody feeling? Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. these are, this is real. I don't, I wonder, I'm not trying to go back, go back that far, but I wonder in, in that time, let's talk about slavery. Let's talk about the sixties. I want to talk about the riot. Like, could they ever get numb? Was it numb? Like I'm black and I could die any day. I'm going to go outside anyway. I'm numb. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was a thing. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they saw vivid things happen. Now, maybe they couldn't play over and over again like we can, which is different. But so. let me tell you what happened, because that's, that's how that's the, the uh, parallel that's written in the poem is because what was happening every day. No, they didn't have a cell phone to go play the video back, but they had somebody being lynched this week and somebody being lynched next week and somebody being lynched the week after and somebody next to you who's getting whooped right here and somebody who's you know, getting a one extremity tied to a horse leg this way and another extremity being tied to a horse leg this way and both of the horses going opposite ways and splitting their bodies in half. That's what they saw on a regular basis. 
Things didn't get better, huh? I just feel like things didn't get better. You maybe, know, it's maybe, just, maybe more um, like more straight to the point. It, I guess I'm gonna shoot uh, you it, instead it, of torture you. Things have gotten you. more sophisticated. You know, like the poem says, uh, "Mounted on uh, mounted upon horseback." But now cruisers with motors, hmm. you know the the overseer. Yeah, deep piece, man. Yeah. Uh, very deep. I think I want. I think you have set me to. I want to do that now. When somebody do a piece and it's deep, I kind of want them to explain it. I think that'd be a dope thing. Have the piece and then explain it afterwards. Yeah, I love that's this. dope. I love it. I that's I dope. um write pieces with the expectancy of having special around. All right. All right. And when it doesn't happen, <laughs> that's what disturbs me a little bit. <laughs> I talk to you about it. It's like you put it out there and then he's like, hey, everybody, what do you think about my new piece? They go, fire that's emoji, fire. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got two flames. I know, right? I listen to <laughs> two minutes of it. No, nah, but no, seriously, um, I, I, I'm, I'm big. I, wanna, I want art. I don't know if it was Karen pushing me. I don't know if it's just me knowing y'all and me. Uh, me doing a slam poetry slam and just being flabbergasted about all the uh, immensely talented people we have in the city. Um, one, oh, real quick, by you and my presence, I will tell you, yes, I know the round uh, that you did wasn't the round that made you advance to the next round, but that was my favorite piece of the night. Like that piece. I don't I, I seen a different trap. Uh-huh. You might not know this. You might notice. I don't know. Uh, you can be considered amongst the conscious slash woke uh, Spoken word artist, artist, right? I'm gonna say artist. You can be considered amongst that, right? And that showed me, oh, he got more tricks in his bag. He got more in his bag than just this conscious stuff he talks about. However, that was important and that was needed in that time frame. There's but there's... to see to see that, and it's not no. I, mean, I don't know if you can do the pause thing. I don't know if this, is but I know like even the the grabbing the crotch and just the the stage presence to me, like that was. I liked it. Yeah. I, and, I, and I know, like I said, I don't, whatever happened, happened tonight. And I know it's going to go how it go. But in all seriousness, that's a piece that just stayed in my mind. I'm like, that's, I just didn't expect that from you. I was not expecting any kind of vulgar, any kind of that. Because that's the stuff I like. I'm like, that's, right, right, right. that's it. That's my book. That's entertainment, <laughs> right? Yeah, I like that. Day. Right. That was dope. At the end of the day, I'm an entertainer. And, um, and, and I, I have to have material as an entertainer. I have to have material for all kinds of crowds and events or anything like that, you know, to where I just got hired for, uh, for a, an erotic uh, poetry event that's coming up on Valentine's, coming up next month here. And, uh, you know, I got to have some stuff for that. So we, we include, you know, if you want to be, uh, I tell younger artists, because young, there's younger artists and artists who... Um, Everybody younger than me, so, so <laughs> everybody's younger than me. So I'd say younger artists, but other artists, they 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 say, you know, Trav, how do I um, how do you get so many opportunities? Like, how do you why do you have so many people calling you for events and everything like that? And it's because I do feel like I've got something for everything. Like I, I could be booked for a church event. I've I've read poems at funerals, weddings. You know what I'm saying? Joke um, of all trades, man. Yeah, yeah, because we're, I'm an artist. So it, it's not a box. You know, there's not a box. And that, don't, that doesn't only speak to me as a poet, but also as a person, right? Yeah. Because some people will meet me, actually, and then think that all I am is going to be talking about consciousness. Making you a 5% or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> but then we kick it, and none of that stuff might not even come up. You know right, what I'm right. saying? We're, we're, I'm, I'm kind of like off the clock with that at the point. So. I'm a whole person, and uh, our art reflects that. Look, man, this was dope. I know this is, I, the thing I like the most about these is it's quick. It's not long. It's not you have to be prepared. You just got to be artist. Yes, and you got to be able to speak about art. Mm-hmm. So I like these. It's quick. You ain't been here for an hour yet, and we, you know we we done and got some good content. So I definitely wish you the best. Wish you the more success in any kind of slams you might uh uh, uh, uh participate in, any kind of events you might do. Um, definitely put more footage out there. I'm ha- I'll be dope. I'll be happy to put this put to put this out, which I'm, my goal is to put out tonight. Hopefully, if I can edit and everything quickly. Um, so yeah, man. Um, I appreciate you stopping through, man. So I- I'll say this. Um, I don't expect to be in any more slams. <laughs> like that's not my thing. I've been doing spoken word for 25 years now, and 
I've probably only been in a couple of contests. That's not my thing. And I tried this one just to kind of see what I can do. Um, but I knew, I, I pretty much knew I wasn't going to win. Um, for me, it's not the competition thing. It's the having an opportunity, like I said, to get in front of people and speak and have people hear my, share my gift with the people. Right, right, That's right. what it's about. Um, I go into a whole different mode when it's competition. And it can bring about some kind of things that I, I don't want. You, you know, like it makes things sense. surface. It makes like, sense. You, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a it's a difference between playing pickup ball in the driveway, and then when you on the court, go to the court. You yeah. know, it's like killer mentality and stuff yep. like that. And I don't know if that and poetry to me need to be married. I can see that is I can respect the killer that. instinct. And then me trying to spread love on the microphone. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, I can see that. I, and then I, you I got the whole, that. you know, controversial judgment of who won or didn't win and all that. I'd rather not stay in that space. Um, so, yeah, don't look for Brother Travel any upcoming poetry slams. All right. I respect that. I can respect that, man. Look, man. Um, dope. Like I said, pleasure to have you. Always, of course. I'm gonna throw um, my new hashtag out because this ahead. connects to the beat, the piece, and what we we were been talking about. My hashtag is, and make this go viral. Hashtag it's okay to not press play. It's okay to not press play. Yeah, you see the video out there. I see it too when we scroll. You don't have to hit play. Protect your piece. Hashtag it's okay to not press play. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. All right, we out, man. All right. <laughs> How do we love those that keep on hating us? 